Hey friends, today for our doggy disguises, we are going to be drawing a dog dressed as a strawberry. This photo that I drew from came from one of my Instagram followers who sent me their Labradoodle dressed as a strawberry and this dog looked so happy to be dressed up, just elated. So that happy dog made me really happy and I hope that it makes you happy as well. So grab your favorite art supplies and a piece of paper and let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to make her kind of sitting and she's almost gonna take up the shape of like a triangle. So let's go ahead and start at the top of our page, which is where the, her head is going to be. I'm gonna do a nice kind of curved line here. And then I'm going to draw a line that goes out and down just a bit. And then right kind of in this section here, I'm gonna go ahead and just do the nose right now. I'm going to draw kind of my upside down guitar pick. Let's shade the top, shade the bottom. And right at the bottom of the nose, I'm just gonna hook it around to the other side there. And then we're gonna connect and I'm gonna draw a smile that is gonna come up about here. Excellent. Now, the one thing I love about this picture is the dog is smiling with like the most silly slap happy smile. The tongue is like hanging out on the side. So we're going to totally do it that way. Let's go up a little bit though first and make a really happy dog that is smiling with a curve. And then this one is going to be more right in that corner there. Let's add some lashes. Why not? Okay. So right down here where the nose is, I'm gonna draw a line that curves down and another line that curves down and then connect. Now this is gonna be that really silly tongue that's hanging out. And then we're going to go back up where the mouth is and we're gonna curve down and we're gonna bump into that tongue, pick up your marker, boop, curve around and loop it back in towards the mouth. So this is like the inside of the mouth here. If you wanna sneak in like a little tooth or something, you could. And then we're doing a Labradoodle. So Labradoodles are pretty fluffy and I've made this dog pretty smooth so far. So right on the bottom where the chin is, let's go ahead and make more of a bumpy line. And this is going to be the chin. And I'm gonna just stop right there. Okay, so with the reason why I made this smooth at the top is this is where the dog is wearing kind of like its strawberry headband. So I'm gonna go back up to the top and let's do a curve that goes up and out on a diagonal and then a curve that comes back in. This is a little leaf right here. And then we're gonna do like a little stem. Right now it's not really connected. And then I think I'm gonna do another leaf kind of to the side. And then let's do in, go in the, add in the ear and then we'll kind of connect it with a little headband. So we're gonna make a really floppy, fluffy ear that goes down and connects. And then let's go, just go back up and just kind of connect everything. There we go. We can add a little bit of fluff there, maybe some lines going down. It's totally, that looks like whiskers, whoops. We'll just add some texture. Okay. So now let's go ahead and make her chest. So right where the ear is, I'm gonna do a bumpy line that goes down. And then right where that tongue is kinda, of, I'm just gonna do a bumpy line that comes and meets it and then just add a little bit of fluff there again. All right, now this little doggy's gonna be sucked on in in a strawberry soup. So right where the ear is, we're gonna curve down so that we're making her sitting. And then this is gonna be our pause going down. So I'm gonna curve the line there and then let's just make some really fluffy, they can be as big and long as you want. Labradoodles are pretty big doggies. So I'm gonna curve it there and then connect. We'll add a couple paws. Let's do the back leg. We're gonna start where the we left off here. We're gonna curve up and maybe add a few bumps again and go out and back, okay. And I guess this is where the shirt would connect there. And let's just do is kind of some fluffs. So 
some fluffy there. Okay, and then let's draw a line to connect the two and that is the belly. And then we're gonna draw a really big, fluffy, 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 fluffy tail, long and fluffy. I imagine this doggy is like, I'm envisioning her slapping her tail against the ground. So I'm drawing a few duplicate tails and I did this on a previous drawing. The reason is, it's a fun way to make it look like the tail is actually moving. Um, but one thing I like to do is just really bold up the, the first tail that I drew and then draw the other tails like a little bit lighter and maybe even like overlap them a little bit so that there just looks like there's some movement in there. Let's add another leg. So I could do a leg up here or in the back. I'm just gonna do another fluffy little line there and then a paw that goes around and same with the back. I'm just gonna draw a kind of a floating back leg like that. And because this dog is a strawberry, then we're going to go ahead and make some of the strawberry seeds just some short little lines that go down. And of course, we want to make sure that we color this doggy red. And again, I'm not really um, doing a whole lot of coloring in these series. I was going to do colored pencil. You know what? I think I'm going to do... A, I love these markers, these Tombow markers. I'm just gonna go ahead and color in because it is so much fun. All right, let's go ahead and speed this up a bit. So I hope that you've enjoyed drawing our strawberry Labrador today and check back tomorrow for another video. I'll see you then.